The YT Jeffsy Base is, from what I can tell, a great bike and an amazing value. But there are a couple things it doesn't come with. A chain guide and a bash guard. Neither of these things is strictly necessary, but as a beginning rider, I figure I'm probably going to be doing some bashing. Oh, Having a guard might be good. It's actually kind of hard to find this info on YT's website, but the Jeffsy Base 29 does come with ISCG 05 bolt holes. So I ordered the fun Zippa Light chain guide and bash guard. They're cheap, but they both have great reviews on Amazon and they're supposed to be pretty easy to install. I'll be the judge of that, but first it's time to give the bike a quick wash. All I'm really gonna do is spray it off and clean some of the muddiest areas with a little soap and water. On the Jeffsy specifically, I'd also recommend removing this plastic frame guard since small rocks and dust can get underneath it pretty easily. Now that it's relatively clean, it's time to start the install. These bolt holes are where we'll be mounting the hardware and they're accessible through the holes in the chain ring. We need to install the chain guide first, so I'm opening the package and dumping the bolts and spacers into this tray so they don't get lost. Then I'll remove the top from the chain guide. Screw in the top bolt of the chain guide, but don't tighten it too much. Then check how the top of the chain guide fits. Depending on your bike, you may need to add a few of these spacers and switch to the longer included bolt to get the guide to line up properly with your chain. On the Jeffsy, I found I needed three spacers and that long bolt. Once you've got it spaced correctly, screw the top on, but don't tighten it hard or try to align it precisely just yet. Now it's time to add the bash guard, so get the materials for that ready. Because we're also using the chain guide, we'll need to use the black spacer in between the bash guard and the chain guide in the lower right bolt hole, and the thicker of the two metal spacers in the left bolt hole. Screw these in, but loosely at first. Once everything's looking right, make any adjustments you'd like to the positioning of the chain guide, make sure the bash guard extends slightly below your chain ring, and then tighten everything up. Neither part includes any torque specifications, so I just used my best judgment. And that's it. As promised, this install was fairly easy. I took the close-up shots while installing them on my wife's bike, but here's the entire process of installing them on mine. It took about 14 minutes, and that was while being constantly distracted by my daughter. Now, I can't say I've put these through the ringer yet, but I have taken them out a couple of times on my first real mountain bike trail, a blue tech trail that's thankfully just a short ride from my house. Both the bash guard and the chain guide have held up well so far, and I haven't dropped a chain yet. As for how that blue trail went, well, that's a story for the next video, so stick around. <sighs> huh. Huh.